What's up? Um, the cold returns, so apologies for my overall disheveledness. Because I am a mess. But, um, yeah, the cold returned. Honestly, I was so feverish that I couldn't go to classes really this morning. I've just been sitting around resting. And I forgot that I had, like, I forgot that any of, like, YouTube existed, even. So I'm sitting there, and I'm like, man, I haven't got anything to do. And then I was watching funny clips of Garfield doing funny things. And all of a sudden, I remembered, oh, shoot, I have to film a video about a thing. I can't just watch Garfield do funny things all day long, which is a shame. Um, I'm kind of losing it today because... The cold returned, and I've been having micro fevers and struggling to form sentences correctly on the phone while talking to people. So, apologies if this video is completely incoherent or incomprehensible in any way. Um, so, obviously, I was forced to rest today, and it's upset me quite a lot. I can't go train any of that. I can't get any work done because I can't think straight. So I'm just kind of here. And it's more than mildly upsetting to me. Because, um, while rest is important, I feel like most of the time I use things like working out and working as an outlet, right? Somewhere to catharse. I think catheterize. Catheterize, yeah. Is the verb for catharsis. Um, pardon me. Yeah, I think catheterize is the verb for catharsis. So I use things like the gym and work to catheterize my emotions, right? Kind of get all the buildup of emotional content out. But the issue is, I obviously can't do that. If I can't work out, and I can't get any work done, and I can't think straight enough to make any art or anything, can't go take photos, can't write, so I'm just here, All right? And I feel like a lot of the time, most of the discomfort in things like rest days comes from not being able to hide from yourself, right? Because normally... When you're working out or working, you can at least somewhat get your mind off of things. That's why guys like working out, because you don't have to... It removes emotional content in some way, right? Whereas, if you're resting, you're stuck with yourself. You aren't moving or anything. So you have to confront yourself on the interior. There's no exterior action, so you're forced to turn internally turn inwards, right? And uh, turning inwards can be very uncomfortable because there's a lot of things about, and I assume this applies to everyone, at least there's a lot of things about myself I don't like to think about. Sometimes I enjoy spending time alone with myself. With myself. Today is not one of them. But um, it's important to spend time alone with yourself because if you're alone all the time but you're always acting, you never have to sit and think about yourself very much. So it's important to sit and be alone with your thoughts. And I'm not talking, oh yeah, I'm alone but I'm watching Funny Garfield clip. Because Funny Garfield clip montage number whatever it was is not leaving me alone, right? I can distract myself with that. By sitting alone with yourself, I mean you have to sit or lie down, stand if you really want to, but that'd be kind of weird. Sit just alone with yourself. Don't do anything. Don't even fiddle with your hands. Pick a position, then sit perfectly still in it and just think for like 30 minutes, right? 
and you practice that regularly, you'll get a lot more comfortable with just your own company, not having to do anything. But a lot of the discomfort, I think, from rest days comes from that, where you're just alone with yourself. You don't have anything to do. But since you're a relatively disciplined man, you feel like crap if you sit around and watch Garfield all day. So you sit there alone with your own thoughts and you're like, damn, I don't really like myself very much. I don't want to think about that. And then think about it anyways. It's confrontation. You don't have external confrontation like you do at the gym. So you have to turn internally and have internal confrontation. That's all I really have to say today. I don't know, maybe I'll go get dinner at some point. Um, I have food, I just don't have the energy to cook. I've got like a whooping cough and a fever that's lasted well over eight hours. Um, I'll survive. I can't breathe out of my left nostril. Wait, hold on, can I now? Just barely. And my right nostril stings for some reason. Like painfully, like burning, like someone shoved chili up there or something. That's how I imagine it feel. I've never had chili shoved up there. I'm talking about random crap. Bye.